My name is Stephanie here with you in the volume.com studio this Thursday morning, joined right now by some special guests. I've got Echo Smith here in the studio. Well, two thirds of Echo Smith. Yes. How are you guys doing this morning? We're doing great. We're, uh, you know, just trying to get ready for the show. Yeah. There's a lot going on today. So we're like, I'm feeling those pre-show butterflies. So I'm like, why not add some caffeine to the mix and yes. some fun radio? I mean, so you I'm just gotta roll with the feeling, right? Amen. 100%. <laughs> I may as well just go in. I'm going to have lots of energy tonight. <laughs> I will not be short on that. <laughs> well, we've got Sydney and Noah here and then your brother Graham yes. also in the band, but not with us this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're He's just getting a little, a little extra rest for the yeah, show. Yeah, lucky <laughs> him. He got to sleep in. Yeah, <laughs> we got the short end of the He's stick He's chilling. Here. It's okay. You know. we, we have fun doing this. So today is the very first show of your whole tour. Yes. So how are you guys feeling? Excited? I feel very excited. This is our first tour post COVID. So two and a half years of not getting to do this every night. So we're just so excited. We've been planning this show for months now. So we're really excited to show our fans what we've prepared. And um, I think it's just going to be a really fun night. And ultimately, we're going to get to connect in a really special way, which is something that we didn't get to do for a long time. Yeah, so that's kind of our number one goal with our show. That's great. And today is actually like an extra special day for you guys because you just had your brand new music video come out today for Gelato. Yep. So lots of excitement today. Yeah. You want to tell oh, us like a little bit about that new song and the new music video? Yeah, Gelato is a really fun song and I'm so happy it came out before tour because we're going to open up the set with that song. So it'll be really fun to sing it with everyone. But the song and the video both really capture that feeling of life can feel really heavy and you can only vacation from those hard things so much, but sometimes you still have to make that conscious choice to put those heavy things aside so that you can be present and enjoy the moment, even if things aren't perfect, because nothing is perfect. We all have plenty of things to worry about. <laughs> the list can go on, but this song is kind of like, hey, let's actually choose to enjoy ourselves. But yeah, life can get kind of rough, but you know, it's okay. We're all doing it. I mean, together. I love that. That's a great philosophy. <laughs> but yeah. um, I figured, you know, while we're here, we got you set up with a guitar. You want to start us off with the song? Maybe we yes. can hear Gelato? Yeah, yes, you can. Gelato. Life's a piece of cake when everybody's faking on a paid vacation. Get a wake, a call, shake the glitter off. Got no reservation means to an end, but nine out of ten you can't shake the feeling. Running the clock, cause it never stops. Maybe I needed some healing. Smooth like gelato, bright like gold in Monte Carlo. Blew my savings on the lotto, that's the motto. Forget the bill, yeah, fill your cup, gelato. To work on nothing Soft to the touch And fresh out of luck You can try but you can't outrun it Smooth like gelato Bright like golden Monte Carlo Blew my savings on the lotto That's the motto Forget the bill Yeah, fill your cup gelato Fresh like Boulder, Colorado We don't know about tomorrow That's the motto we came to throw so fill your cup We came to throw so fill your cup Lightning 100, that is Echo Smith with Gelato live here in the volume.com studio. And if you are listening right now at home, you can actually live stream video of this whole performance at volume.com slash lightning 100, which I forgot to mention earlier. That's but <laughs> we are seen and that's Welcome. all we're seen and heard. And Echo Smith playing tonight at the Basement East, kicking off their whole tour with us here in Nashville. The show's going to start at 7 p.m. You can still grab tickets at thebasementnashville.com. And you guys are actually live streaming your show tonight as well, right? Yes, that's right. I almost forgot about that yeah. too. We're live streaming everything. It's okay. We're, we're a three-dimensional world now. Yes, we it. are. And we are um, doing it with 
Mandolin, which is the live streaming service. So yeah. it's going to be fun. And I think, you know, no matter where people are at, they can join us. But of course, nothing will be, I don't know, like being there in real life. Yeah, of course. No, you got to come see that song live and yes. the whole set, which like, so you guys have been putting out some new music this year. Have you been playing those live or are some of these going to be, you know, the first time your people are seeing them? So it's helpful that we've gotten like a few shows before this tour through the summer where we did get to test out some of these new songs. But we've we've spent a lot of time crafting like a full show that um, we have not performed before. You know, the, these songs we've played through, we've added a lot of fun little sections and musical moments yeah. and um, things that I think will really communicate the message of these songs and also our heart for this tour. And that's to reconnect with fans all over the country because it's been a while yeah it has been a while yeah and this so like are you guys heading now like all across the u.s like, doing the yeah, full u.s yeah. basically and uh, one show in canada so it is an international Good. tour yeah yes. international. wow we're a big deal now <laughs> yeah and we end up in san diego so we kind of like wrap our way around and then back to the west coast where we're from that's perfect yeah. love that land and home yeah. Yeah. and i kind of mentioned this earlier but you guys are all siblings <laughs> this is a family band so i feel like that's that's really cool and there really aren't like that many family bands touring around right now and how do you guys feel about you know making music with your siblings yeah it's really fun honestly we grew up all just being best friends so the fact that we have friendship as the basis is really helpful because if we weren't friends i don't know this would not work (laughs) because you're together a lot and you also just i don't know there's a lot of times where you're like i'm really tired today and you know i need a little space or whatever. We could be really honest with each other, which is Yeah, super in a way helpful. that like a lot of people probably can't. Like I feel no. like for a touring band to work, they probably have to feel like family anyway. Yes. So you yeah. can have that honesty. Yeah, yeah you have to so be you like, guys hey. just like skip that whole <laughs> We You're know just, each other pretty well. Yeah. You know, it worked out. We can almost be too honest. Do you feel like that gives you like a different perspective with like your writing and stuff too? Yeah. Well, I think because we're so close, we're able to write about things that are really close to home. Because sometimes, I mean, we love writing with songwriters that we're just meeting that day as well. But it's really fun to write just us, which a lot of our new music is written that way, Mm -hmm. which is really cool because we can just be talking about stuff. And I'm like, I'm really struggling with this or I like feel crappy about this thing or whatever. And you can be really real about it. And then obviously you can write a song about it because you actually know each other and you know what's going on in each other's lives. So you can kind of help each other, honestly, have like a moment of therapy while writing the song because then you're like, okay, I feel a little bit better now, you know? So I think it totally helps the songwriting process. Yeah, that I, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm joined right now by Sydney and Noah of Echo Smith. We got two thirds of Echo Smith here in the volume.com studio and they are playing tonight out at the Basement East, kicking off their tour at 7 p.m. And So another thing you guys put out recently was a kind of re-released version of a song, Cool Kids, which a lot of people probably know. (laughs) That was a big hit when it came out. And what made you guys want to re-release this song and do like a different version? Well... The song started to come back because of TikTok this year, which was really cool for us because as the songwriters of the song, you know, it always came from a personal place. So to see it come back all these years later, of course, was really exciting, but it was also really comforting to know, hey, I'm not alone in this feeling still because I still relate to the song so much. Of course, I've had growth in the past 10 years, but there are still days where I feel really insecure and uncomfortable in my own skin. So um, when it came back this year, it made us just ask ourselves, what if the song isn't finished yet? Because there was always this instrumental moment where a bridge could be, but there never was. And this is the moment that I would take in the live show and address the crowd and tell them, hey, this is where I'm coming from and this is why I relate to the song and I'd bring them into that story. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool to put it on record of me bringing myself into the story for the first time because it was always a story about a boy and a girl who felt that way. And yes, we all wish we could be like the cool kids, but this is the first time I'm bringing myself into the narrative. And I think that it was just a really cool full circle moment. And when we wrote that bridge just randomly, that's when we knew maybe we should put this out. Yeah. And yeah, it just came out like a month ago. So we're really excited about it. That's really cool. I really love the idea of re-releasing something like, I think it is almost 10 years later, right? And yeah. just how that has developed and kind of going hand in hand with this, it you know, resurgence on TikTok, which like, yeah. does that feel kind of crazy for that to just happen out of nowhere? <laughs> it's odd. I mean, it's one of those things you really have like no say in, which yeah, is obviously like exciting just, when it's a positive thing, you know? It just happens. You're just waking up and opening TikTok or Instagram, like, oh, I'm hearing myself constantly. It's very odd, but it, it's- And I feel it like is, is it like a, a few thing. at first and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Totally. And then they just like keep trickling well, in. And then and like famous like, people oh, start boy. using it. And you're like, wow, I feel special. <laughs> oh, I'm wow, famous Drew now. Barrymore is hearing- I was going to say, was there one that sort of like, was there like one famous person that kind of 
kind of like, Whoa, wow. Moore. Yeah, that's She kind of was one of those one. people for me because I was like, 50 first dates. I love yeah. <laughs> So seeing that was pretty awesome. But there were a lot of people who ended up using the song that, I don't know, were really cool. And people use it to tell their stories, which was really awesome too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it was something that we had zero control over, but we're like, yeah, we'll lean into this and have fun with it too and kind of tell our story since we wrote the song. And coming back 10 years later with this new version, I was 15 when we wrote it, I'm 25 now. Obviously a lot has happened. So it just feels really fitting to kind of have this new version that um, we will play at least part of on the road too, which is fun. We have like a, a fun kind of story with that in the live setting so well um not to like spoil it for the show but i was thinking maybe (laughs) we could hear it now you can okay (laughs) no spoiling let's do it she sees him walking in a shade line that's not really her style and they all got the same heartbeat but hers is falling behind Nothing in this world could ever bring them down mm-hmm. Yeah, they're invincible And she's just in the background And she says, I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to fit in I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids Oh Talking with a big smile, but they haven't got a clue. Yeah, they're living the good life, can see what he is going through. Mm. They're driving fast cars, but they don't know where they're going. Mm. They're in the fast lane, living life without knowing. And he says, I wish that I could. Be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids They seem to fit in I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids I thought I wanted to be cool Like somebody else But ten years later I'm just a picture on the shelf Memories in a haze, but I keep looking back I keep seeing myself, cause the ceiling's glass After all this time, no, I can't lie I was just another person I was screaming When they said I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to fit in I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids I wish that I could be like the cool kids Cause all the cool kids, they seem to get it I wish that I could be like the cool kids Like the cool kids Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh Lightning 100, that is Echo Smith live here in the Volume.com studio with Cool Kids. You can catch them playing that one live tonight at the Basement East. They are kicking off their whole tour with us here in Nashville starting at 7 p.m. And you can still get your tickets at thebasementnashville.com. Guys, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. Good luck with tour. Have fun at the show tonight. Oh, we're so happy to be here. Lightning 100 has always been amazing to us. And they're the first ones to really support Cool Kids. So to be yeah, here right now Yeah, I guess now, you mentioned so that cool. when you came in, and I totally yeah. forgot to mention it's that. It's insane. That you Y'all said were we first. Were, that's you really, first. really oh. cool. You know? So we're <laughs> glad to be back. I feel like it's I'm so saying fun. that word so much this morning. It's <laughs> so cool. Word of the day. Yeah, word of the day is cool. <laughs> it's from Wordle. Don't, sorry, I spoiled it. <laughs> oh, that would be so cruel. I know. To, be, I know. Whoops. Don't do that to people. But... Sydney, Noah, thank you guys so much. That is Echo Smith live tonight at the Basement East. Tickets at thebasementnashville.com. Right now, we're going to get on some Noah Khan. Here is Stick Season on Lightning 100.